I think uh, as a medium in general, a lot of things that wouldn't traditionally work together in botanicals can work really well together. Hi, my name is Ryan Norville. I am the founder of the floral company Oat Cinnamon. We're based in Brooklyn, and today I'm here with West Elm, and I'm going to design a room based off a floral arrangement I've created. I think a lot of times people may think that decorating a space and designing flowers are also two different ideas, but they are actually quite harmonious. Some things I definitely want to incorporate from this floral arrangement will be the color palette, the use of texture, and the asymmetrical composition using unconventional ideas. I just always want to know like how I can push things further and do things that people would not expect. The very first step in creating an arrangement for me is deciding on the exact mood of it and how I want someone to feel when they see it. And that can be done a few ways. One of the first ways is going to be the vase that we choose. So similarly, when you're decorating a room, you also want to think about the mood that you're trying to create and what exactly the space is going to be used for. And I like to do that with a piece that anchors the design. And for this room, we're going to be using a dining table that does just that. The next step to creating that mood is moving on to your color palette. This is the best way to help create that mood. Today I'm going to be using a really earthy palette, but we're going to offset that with some saturated sunset tones. We have some browns, some terracotta shades, with a bit of neutrals, as well as the orange and the birds of paradise. And we're going to take that same color palette from the flowers as inspiration for the room, using that monochrome in the paint, and then bringing in some objects that will help with the contrast and pops of color and those sunset tones and those cooler shades. Next, we're going to look at height in our arrangement. I'm going to do that by creating higher points and lower points so the eye is going to move. And in the room, we're going to do the exact same thing with lighting your furniture so that the eye can move around the space. So the next thing I'm going to do in this arrangement is consider texture. One of the things I love about these carnations is how fluffy they are. You can see that on the edge here. And then I also love this anthurium. It has this lacquer-like texture as well as these veins, which help create a nice contrast between the two. We're going to emulate that in the room with these red glossy chairs. My last design tip would be with anything you create to make sure you embrace your own personality and your inner eclecticism. In the arrangement today, that's going to be adding in these beautiful birds of paradise, which are typically seen in tropical arrangements and not something as garden-like as this. In the room, we're going to be adding our own personal artworks and just anything that feels personal to us. So I think the design is translating perfectly into the room and the mood we're trying to convey. All we need to do now is add some flowers. Wow, it's so pretty. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I just feel like I live here already. This is more than what I imagined. It looks so amazing. We translated the mood from the flowers into the room through the use of the color palette. I'm looking at the walls combined with chairs that are kind of the same color as the anthuriums. We see the texture, whether it's in the greenery here, the rattan on the armoire, or even in this pendant lamp. We definitely see the use of unconventional decor with those glossy chairs and how we kind of mix and match them with the wooden bench. My biggest tip for recreating a space like this is to start with the feeling that you want to replicate within the space. My second tip for designing a room is get off the internet and try to pull inspiration from all kinds of mediums. I think my last design tip would definitely be to embrace your own personality and feel free to break rules and norms. You can do things that are unconventional that feel just right to you and that's all that matters. 